It's not often that a multi-talented person gets to be highly successful in more than one profession. Athletes like Deion Sanders and Bo Jackson, plus actors turned politicians like Ronald Reagan and Arnold Schwarzenegger come to mind. Sometimes, the careers of these dynamic people can shift suddenly and leave supporters of theirs from their first profession a little confused or unfulfilled. In rap, Will Smith has this kind of career. Over nearly three decades, Will Smith has solidified himself as one of the biggest actors ever, catapulting into stardom as the star of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Smith's presence on TV and film soon after that looms so large that the general opinion of Will Smith as a rapper weakened. Will Smith the rapper was widely viewed as a charming, comedic, alternate reality that everyone played along with when one of his massive singles would play in the club or on the radio. Simply put, Smith's acting career made people treat his music career much less seriously. While there are many reasons not to take Will Smith seriously as a GOAT contender, Will Smith's track record as a rapper deserves a closer look. For people who were grown or growing up during Will Smith's beginnings, it might be frustrating to see people treat him as a musical afterthought. And while Smith is rich, massively impactful, and seemingly very happy with his life, you have to wonder if he himself is a bit annoyed at the lack of respect his name is given when it comes to rapping. Many of today's younger hip-hop fans, and even some of the older ones, might be surprised at how many items Will Smith's rap resume checks off the list of legendary rap qualities. Each of Will Smith's four solo studio albums, as well as all five of his albums as a Fresh Prince with DJ Jazzy Jeff, have received either a gold or platinum RIA certification, including Millennium, which went two times platinum, He's the DJ, I'm the Rapper, which went three times platinum, and Big Willie Style, which is almost at diamond status with nine million copies sold. Smith also has four top 10 Billboard Hot 100 hits 14 years apart, and while his 1997 single Men in Black did not chart on the Hot 100, it reached number one on Billboard's Hot 100 airplay chart. However corny people might have felt Will Smith was as a rapper, the numbers don't lie. People played his music a lot and for a long time, even the 2005 single Switch which is gold certified. As previously mentioned, it isn't just the sales numbers that make Will Smith's deceptively long discography powerful. It's Smith's longevity that really strengthens his case as a rapper that we need to take seriously. Much of the hip hop world has forgotten the impact Smith's career had previously to the year 2000. So let's brush up on some history. Years before taking over Bel Air, The Fresh Prince was establishing himself as the clean, wholesome rapper we all know and love while still giving the culture high quality storytelling and entertaining concepts in his music. Songs like Smith's first single with Jazzy Jeff, Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble in 1986 and Parents Just Don't Understand in 1988 tell stories with the same rambunctious enthusiasm he later translated on TV. The songs are enjoyable because they're fun and relatable to teens and young adults. But Smith's commitment to no cursing in his raps and sharing life lessons learned from his mischief made him playable anywhere. Translating his good-natured approach to life into records made Will Smith stand out. Accompanying music videos for his earlier hits, including I Think I Can Beat Mike Tyson, helped make the statement of those songs even more memorable, with the first chapter of his rap career building up to the timeless cookout hit Summertime, which peaked at number 4 on the Hot 100 chart in 1991. Summertime also won Will Smith and Jazzy Jeff their first Grammy for Best Rap Performance by a Duo or Group. Surprisingly enough, Will Smith has four Grammys, which at the time of this video equals Drake's number of Grammy wins. Obviously, there isn't a strong comparison to make between the two musical careers of Will Smith and Drake, but for an entertainer with such a storied acting career that makes his music look like a running joke, winning four Grammys with 10 years in between, the first for Parents Just Don't Understand in 1989 and the last for Getting Jiggy With It in 1999 is remarkable. Not many hip-hop artists create music or a brand that remains as consistent and relevant for as long as Will Smith was able to. Adding to the point about Will Smith's consistency, it isn't just in reference to his musical quality over the years. Something even more impressive and seemingly effortless when it comes to Smith is the consistency of his family-friendly image. By the time the 90s rolled in and Will Smith got his big break with the Fresh Prince, gangster rap took over. 
The pervasive and controversial images of acts such as N.W.A., Snoop Dogg, and the Wu-Tang Clan changed hip-hop culture immediately. Since this era of rap, it has become almost an expectation for the top artists in the game to have some kind of dark side or toughness to them. Without some kind of hardness, even a great artist with a unique message is susceptible to becoming called soft or corny. The thing is, before the 90s, edgier rap stars and their PG-rated peers were offered the same respect by the hip-hop community. Veteran rapper Murs pointed to this reality in an investigative video about Will Smith's rap career on Hip Hop DX, also stating that grittier acts such as Public Enemy would often tour and do shows with lighthearted acts such as Heavy D, Kid and Play, and Will Smith himself with DJ Jazzy Jeff. Though family-friendly rap acts can still do crazy numbers in today's world, with Macklemore and Chance the Rapper serving as great examples, they simply aren't viewed in the same light as artists that venture into grimier subject matter or have a colder image. Will Smith's commitment to being his well-raised, life-loving self is a gold standard in authenticity, but at the cost of having his rap career ridiculed and mocked. To once again refer to Murr's brilliant commentary on his DX Breakdown video, the principles that have guided Will Smith's rap career are ones rap fans should celebrate in theory. Loyalty to his closest associates such as Jazzy Jeff, rapping for the love of the craft, and consistent authenticity in his brand are all things Smith has maintained his entire time in the spotlight. Not to mention how valuable a wholesome black father figure is in the rap game, with OGs like Jay-Z and Snoop being other big examples of aging with grace. In fact, it wouldn't be a surprise if Will Smith found an angle to re-enter the rap game, seeing that older age and fatherhood now have a place in hip-hop since Hope's 444 album. Clearly, Will Smith's legacy is not in serious need of his rap career to be framed any different. But if we care about the truth, then we need to acknowledge Will Smith as a hip-hop pioneer who helped prove rap was commercially viable. Along with making enjoyable hits for a long time, Smith has been a model of authenticity in hip-hop and someone who has always represented a culture correctly, including being a key figure in the 1989 Grammys boycott by hip-hop figures, including LL Cool J, Salt and Peppa, and Russell Simmons. The following year, the Grammys televised the Best Rap Performance Award presentation and the culture hasn't looked back since. Hopefully, this video has made you think differently of Will Smith's rap career. In time, Will Smith the rapper might be less of an awkward punchline and more of a legend. This has been a Hip Hop Managed Original. Make sure to stay tuned and stay up to date with everything we got going on by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. Oh, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Hip Hop Madness and join the movement.